If you're a dentist, a chiropractor, or any other medical field, you know what it's like to be offered SEO services. Watch this video and I'm going to show you some tricks and ways to check the work that these people are doing for you and make sure you're truly findable online. So if you're in a medical profession, you're a doctor, you're a plastic surgeon, you're a dentist, you know, I'm sure you get bombarded by people trying to sell you SEO services. You have to be careful because clearly you're not an SEO expert, you're a doctor, you're a clinic, you're a plastic surgeon, you don't know anything about SEO. And it's really easy to spend too much money and then all of a sudden you've paid all this money every month, they keep saying they're doing all this work for you and you hear crickets in the background. There's no phone calls, there's no additional traffic, you're not getting more leads off your website. So you have to really be careful. I mean, as a medical practitioner, you need to make sure that you are picking experts in your life carefully. So a couple things to think about when you're hiring someone who does SEO or online marketing. First of all, go old school. Check their references. What? Check their references. Get some references, call them. Say, what was the worst thing about them? What was the best thing about them? Did you see results? Did you get any kind of reports or anything that showed you what it was like to work with them? Also, think about other ways to be findable under a specific search. So let's go to my computer and let me show you some ways to think about SEO differently for the medical industry. As a medical professional, I'm gonna walk you through how to really take a look at what is the best way to be the most findable doctor, dentist, clinic in your space. So let's go and look at my Google search results. I've typed in dentist near me. Now a couple things to remember, first of all, is your Google local listing. This is google.com slash business. Very important that you get this tricked out. And let me show you why. Take a look at my screen here. The first thing you'll see here is Park City Dentistry, Park City Dental, and mountain dentistry. So we wanna think about how are we calling our business what we do? So a better way to think about it is if your name is Park City Dentistry, you might wanna also have something in the description about dentist or dental office or cavities, fillings, emergency dentist. Things of that nature are very important because that's what people are searching. But this is all about where my, my physical location is right now and then Google Local goes out and says, okay, you're at this one position. It's gonna look in a radius around that and see what matches your search. So it's important for you to think about how can I purchase a domain that has what I do in the domain. So one of our clients was coloradoplasticsurgery.com. Brilliant domain because it had exactly the way people search, coloradoplasticsurgery.com. Not the, not the doctor's name, not something he made up, but actually the search that people were doing. So what that does is it gives you an instant relevance for that keyword, and he ranks number one under that phrase. So let's take a look at what else we can do to leverage on a search result page. So Google Business, that's what you're seeing up here with the map. Now, another very important search engine is Yelp. Now Yelp, some people have a love-hate relationship with Yelp, I get it, but it is still part of the marketing mix online. Yelp in itself is a very powerful tool. So remember, Yelp is also a search engine. So we need to think about how can I be findable inside of Yelp? When we look here, you'll see here that I'm gonna go ahead and put dentist. Now it knows where I'm currently located. I can change this to any destination, so I'm gonna change this to Denver. Okay, now let's take a look. Now we have sponsored results. Those are the people that are paying for ads in Yelp. So let's come down to the non-sponsored ads. Now, one thing that dentists do really well and, and you know, uh, doctors is get your photo up there. People tend to click on images of faces so much more than just images of a logo. So really try to lead with your personality. People work with and hire people they know, like, and trust. So it's very important that we remember, I'm going to like your face. Do you look friendly? Are you someone I wanna, you know, uh, is, are you someone I want to work with? So make sure you'll see that they got some really nice pictures of the actual dentist here. Now, let's go. Now, all results, this is where 
you can optimize your Yelp listing. This is so important, especially in the medical industry because you guys have so much competition. So here you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a find. A find feature is just where you do Command F or Control F on your laptop. Pulls up a little find feature. Now I'm gonna type in Denver and you'll see that it highlights on the search results in the ads. So you'll see here I've got Denver in my description. It's the Icon Dental Denver. It has dental and it has Denver in the title of the page. So when you're thinking about becoming the most findable medical practitioner, speak like you, the people who are searching for you. Don't talk all doctor-like. Like a lot of like med spas, they love to call themselves med spa, but no one searches that way. They search for Botox or they search for fillers or they search for the thing that they need, not the way in which you're marketing your business. This is really important distinction around creativity and findability. Creativity is about being unique. It's about being different. It's about unique selling propositions, unique taglines. You might wanna write this down Uniqueness is the enemy of findability because the more unique you are, the less findable you are. So are you starting to see the light a little bit about just use the way I talk. Don't try to alienate me by using words that I'm never going to search for. I'm going to go and put Botox Denver. I'm going to go and put fillers Denver. I'm going to go put dentist Denver. Speak very specifically about what you do and you will be the most findable medical practitioner in your space. So the first thing we looked at was Google Business Local Listing. Then we looked at Yelp. Let's keep seeing what else we can leverage in here. So I'm gonna go back to search results again for Denver Dentist. Let's see what else we see here. Mountain Dentistry, Park City, oh, so that's a good one, Park City Dental. Because I'm in Park City right now, that's why it's trying to match me. I typed in Park Dentist, it knows I'm in Park City. So therefore, it's trying to match me with the most relevant searches that have Park City Dental or Dentist in that description. He bought a domain, or she bought a domain, parkcitydental.org. Now, .org is not, prefer is not preferable. I like a .com better, but they have the keywords right in their domain. It's so simple and effective. Another client of mine is dfwdentist.com. That's D Dallas, Fort Worth, Dentist. People type in that area, DFW. So we bought DFWDentist.com. She kills it. She ranks for all the DF Dentistry keywords. And sometimes we overthink our online marketing strategy. So as you're looking through this, take advantage of what comes up under here. Now what you'll see here is all the different ways that people search. So these are the questions that they have. And then these are the things they add on at the bottom here, like the dental spa, Mountain High Dental, um, PC Dental, Park City. So the difference between PC and Park City. So remember that, yes, it is localized based on your IP address, where you're sitting here right now. But remember that I'm just gonna look for what's happening with me, with my medical needs, not necessarily how you want me to find you. Either you can be the most findable website based on how people are searching, or you can have a totally unfindable domain with an unfindable tagline, with an unfindable description on your homepage. Do you see how hard you're working to not connect with the right audience? Use their language, be simple about how you describe what you do, and make sure that everything in your online marketing mix points toward that outcome, like DFW Dentist, ColoradoPlasticSurgery.com. Don't overthink it. If you're interested in learning more about how you can empower yourself to be the most findable business online, ring the bell. You'll see there's a bell right below this video. If you click that bell, you're gonna get notifi notified every time I launch a new video. Subscribe to our channel and you're gonna get great tips and techniques to be the most findable business online.